Hey sightseers, I'm back at Shopco. I'm actually at the Shopco store in Marinette, Wisconsin. It's closing down in two days and we're gonna go on inside and check out, see what's left of the store. There's been a number of items I've been keeping my eye on to see if they're coming down in price. And so far the signs are saying up to 90% off. So we'll see. I'm interested to go in and check it out. back in Shopco here in Marinette checking out to see the last few deals that can be scored. What do you think of this shirt? $19.99 at 80% off is coming in at $3.80. All right, so they don't have dressing rooms. So I don't know, not too keen on this shirt I'm thinking I'm thinking that's a no wow they really cleared out the women's clothing section I'm surprised I was in here the other day it was pretty full yet Doesn't look like they're budging on the luggage here. It was 70% off for like the last, I don't know, how many weeks. And I have a hard time believing that all this luggage sold. I suspect they're clearing some of this stuff out and they're gonna move it on to a different store. It's either that or people are actually starting to plunk down some cash for stuff knowing that the store is closing in a few days it's down to i think two days two days and counting something like that and i've been looking over the luggage because i'm thinking about taking a trip out east this summer take your pick of gloves that are no longer there the moment of truth do they still have that wiener dog towel i wanted they don't just the motorcycle and it's all marked up darn it I waited too long and now it's gone here's something that promises fewer wrinkles after you use it what kind of rip off is that kids we got a squeaker there's your lonely elf on the shelf all sad and lonely, trying to be sold for $10.39. How much you wanna make a bet a lot of this crap will start showing up on eBay. I bet you any money people are coming in, scooping up what they think are deals and then trying to pass it off at a higher price on that platform, trying to make some bucks. Squeaky card alert. They might want to check their security cam footage. Looks like somebody's ripped off the entire store. Need a desk lamp? Doesn't look like they've sold too many of them. Uh, 
brush for your doll? Because I can't imagine using that on your baby. On a bold baby. Yeah, this whole section was luggage a week ago. There's no way, based on the prices that they had on that luggage, that they sold all this. I bet you any money they pulled this out because they're going to take it to a different store. So do you guys take some of the stuff out of here? Mm -hmm. Did you guys take some of the stuff out already and move it on to a different store? Or? No. So the luggage sold? No, the luggage is still here. Because um, I went back there, there really isn't that the much. The luggage has been moved into a uh, furniture department. Oh, it has? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you have it. That's where all the luggage went. They must think we're crazy to think we're going to pay 70% off full retail for that luggage. I could find cheaper luggage over at Walmart and at TJ Maxx. That's why I didn't buy it here. Need a new cell phone case? These are 70% off the red sticker price. It's not too bad of a deal. Here's a hot seller. For $78, you can get a 10-piece cookware set. Flying off the shelves, folks. I saw this and then I turned it around and seen the price. And even at 70% off, that's still a bit steep. For those of you who can't remember how much water you drink in a day, you can get this nifty ecological water bottle that allows you to track the amount of water you drink by rolling a band up. $35.99 regular price down to $10.50 at 70% off. This one's kind of nifty. Keeps your drink cold for six hours, according to the label. $20.99, $29.99, marked 70% off, that puts it at $8.70. You can get a set of four matching. Yo! Yo! All right, let's take a quick look through the pet aisle and the clearance. Probably jack the price way up. Oh, they're 35. $35. That's more than what you would really pay, isn't it? Well, I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff in here and it's very high priced. Oh, I agree. I've been watching the sales they since they first bad. started. They got some sheets for $120 for a set of sheets that probably aren't 40 normally. Yeah, I know. I mean, they just don't just sell it and give people decent prices. I know, I know. Oh, well. Obviously, they're selling, though. I was in here last week, and there's hardly anything in here. There was lots of stuff. Everything is gone. Yeah, I know, but I kind of wonder if some of the stuff is getting shipped over to a different yeah. store because, no. I mean, the junior section, there's nothing left of it, and I was here last week, and Yeah, I was here it last was, week, and there was t the store was still full. Yeah. So I don't know. And their prices are not that great. No. No, they're not. Well, whatever, I guess. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one that thinks that way. Does Mabel need a new dog collar? Mm -hmm. it looks like cat collars. Mom, I found something. Did you? I found that one. I want that. Here's something interesting. I don't think I've ever seen these before. So squishy. There it is. I wonder what they would do if I went through that door. You feeling lucky today? And here we have Kim Kardashian's solution to under eye bags. I wonder if that really works. So I'm thinking the two deals that I'm gonna take home today are a new cell phone case. This one I've got is looking pretty rough from all the times I've dropped my phone. And this, because it's at 70% off and I'm game to try any wrinkle cream at 70% off.
Maybe I'll even try Kim Kardashian's secret under-eye bag cream, too.